Welcome to Traveler Snare episode here in Washington State. In this episode, we're headed east to uh, Leavenworth area, actually the Chelan area to be exact. Uh, this is about 20 miles north of Leavenworth and about two to two and a half hours east of Seattle. So it's pretty far away. Um, it is located at the Kalar Mountain Club in Leavenworth and it's pretty close by the Wenatchee River and Lake Wenatchee campgrounds as well uh, and it's right next to the golf course uh, here and I was in this area for Chelan and this restaurant stood out to me um, to start the name of this restaurant is called Wild Flower and it sounded pretty interesting it sounded to me like they would make their own pastas from scratch and they would use a bunch of different flowers that are wild <laughs> so that kind of drew me to it and from their website, the food is constructed with uh, locally foraged and farmed ingredients with a focus of, on uh, handmade pastas. And their operation hours for lunch is Wednesdays to Sundays from 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And dinner begins from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. And Sunday is from 4 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. Um, another thing that kind of drew me to this restaurant was on the Google Maps, it did show some igloos. And when I was looking on the Google Maps, I saw they had outdoor igloos that were really pretty interesting. Um, unfortunately, they're only they're not available during summertime, and it is by reservation only. So I didn't do a very good research on that part. And to start off here, uh, the first item I got was called the uh, foca cha, uh, which is like a house-made herb encrusted. Uh, yeah, focaccia. <laughs> it's a, a, a tomato oil and inside of the uh, marinara sauce was a nice crispy outside and soft inside almost like airy like uh, it tasted like a mild saltiness with the tomato oil in the center so it tasted almost like buttery like with how it's designed with the uh, oil in the center uh, and it was pretty satisfying taking those first uh, few bites of it and when it came out, it was really hot and steamy too. Um, so with the herb crusted on the top, it did add some aromatic uh, depth to it. And overall, it was a really nice uh, balance and flavor and the texture. You ever had that, Simon? Yeah, I've had focaccia a lot. Um, sometimes they put that and kind of make a pizza version of it as well. Um, it's pretty popular, especially in the past. Uh, I don't see it as much often nowadays, at least with the places that we've gone to or I've gone to. Um, so, but it's it's nice to see that it's still around. Yeah, and moving along to the main course is a mushroom ma marsala. Um, that is made with the bronze dye uh, pressed pasta, uh, seasonal, seasonal uh, roasted mushrooms, vegetables, marsala cream sauce, uh, I felt like it could have ha added a little bit more cheese to it, but uh, the fresh pasta had a tender yet uh, like really slightly uh, firm texture to it and I thought uh, the it's choice so of the pasta Thank was you. pretty good. Uh, it soaked up the sauce a lot and it, it has a really smooth, uh, slightly chewy yet kind of subtle uh, flavor that was really a uh, good combination to it. Um, when I ordered this, I was kind of looking around to see what I really wanted and this kind of stood out to me. Um, I also thought the marsala so uh, cream sauce was really rich. Uh, it was kind of like a velvety texture to it with a balance of combination of savory and sweet flavors. And it actually paired well with, with the uh, focaccia bread. And as you see here, I, I'm, I'm just breaking the bread apart just trying to like soak in all the sauce and everything. From your experience Simon, uh, have you had uh, fresh pasta noodles? I've had it before. Um, usually we have fresh pasta at the uh, handmade Chinese restaurants. So, so is this restaurant a part of the clubhouse or is it completely separate but just happens to be located next to the golf course? I think it is a part, I mean the design of the clubhouse is attached to it so I, I think it is part of the clubhouse um, as you see me exiting the restaurant um, you can see the uh, pro shop across the hall so I, I think it's part of it um, I, I also think it's kind of separate because they have their own entrance as well 
Overall, I really did enjoy this restaurant. It's a great restaurant if you're in the Lake Wenatchee area looking for fresh pasta. And to wrap up the episode are the notables. Unfortunately for this one, there are none. If you've enjoyed the content you've seen, don't forget to support the channel and hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see additional pictures of food and our travels, go over to our Instagram page and follow us there. And thanks for watching.